All right, guys, welcome and thank you very much for joining me in this very, 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 very special video. We're going to talk about the moon. Uh, first of all, congratulations because Japan just about 20 minutes ago has landed on the moon in a very historic mission. So congratulations to Japan. Believe it or not, I might be I'm, my expression right now saying congratulations and talking about Japan's moon mission might be more exciting than the Japanese themselves. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. I know they're happy, but I'll show you what I mean. The, um, as a culture, every culture is different and how they uh, respond to something is very different. So it's pretty cool. Um, uh, but anyways, let me let me say this in this video, guys, we're going to talk about the moon mission. Uh, briefly about what Japan did and uh, then I'm gonna show you a stock a US stock that is coming up with its historic moment mid-February all right so it's anywhere from February 9th to February 21st no later than that so in between that those dates this two dollar US stock trading on the Nasdaq right now is going to have a historic moment for the US also and um, I mean it's it's not the first time the US will go to the moon obviously but it's been decades right so this is going to be very historic and if this US company succeeds their two dollar stock is going to be worth a lot more really soon in my opinion right don't take it as financial advice we'll get to all that let me first talk about Japan so Japan's slim spacecraft reaches the lunar surface in a historic moon mission so japan's jaxa slim spacecraft made contact with the moon surface today and uh, it joins russia well the former soviet union then back then the us china and india in reaching the lunar surface here's a screenshot of uh, right here as you can see can you see that right here guys this is a screenshot uh, that was taken actually from the live stream from J uh, from uh, JAXA's uh, YouTube channel and here's when they touched the lunar surface look at this guy these are the guys at JAXA who were talking about the whole time live as the, the mission was going on and the minute it actually touched the, the lunar surface and it's not just that it took a screenshot of these guys I mean he this guy was pretty much <laughs> like, like that the whole time I would have expected that they would be more excited. I mean, let me show you what I mean. This is exactly what would have happened if the Greeks, let's say Greece, had sent a spacecraft and it reached the lunar surface. This is how they would celebrate. And of course, the United States, when they reach in mid-February the lunar surface with the company I'm gonna to talk to you, which is Intuitive Machines, how do you think they're gonna celebrate? <laughs> You see, every culture is different. All right, guys. So Intuitive Machines, take a symbol L-U-N-R, is the stock I want to talk about. It's trading at $2.53 right now. There's not much to analyze. You know, we're not, we're not going to go into fundamentals and is this stock undervalued or not. I mean, there's no point. This is a company that's pretty much sort of, sort of like a startup. I think it started in 2013, if I'm correct. Don't expect, you know, crazy, amazing financials and all that stuff. The whole point of this $2.53 stock is to pretty much bet on whether the mission will go well, right? It's coming up in mid-February. The whole bet can also be made in a different way, let's say, right? That if someone wanted to, they can invest now thinking, thinking, all right, nothing's guaranteed. If the, thinking that the stock would move upwards as we get closer to the launch date. And then if you want, obviously you can sell before the launch and all that stuff. In my Discord, we talk about Lunar uh, for quite a long time, very long time, even from last year, but specifically now at the $2.50 level, we've been talking about it all year long in 2024. And one thing that I did notice is that because the stock is at a critical point, which actually uh, last week, I think they had a um, public offering, if I remember. So they're not gonna do one now. Um, there's no point in tanking the stock. And uh, I thought to myself, okay, well, you know what? In the past five days, it's been pretty much going sideways. And during that, during each of the past five days, the stock would hit 250, 254, 257, back to 250, like three, four times a day. Um, and so, and you don't do that with every stock, right? And this is not financial advice, but because this stock has what it has coming up, I thought to myself, well, this is pretty easy, I guess. Um, and I told them that, you know, with 14K, um, getting in and out 250 selling at 254 that's 200 bucks profit 250 254 250 254 that's a $200 profit and pretty much um, it could have been done uh, already like almost 50 times like twice at least each day three times a day this is not financial advice and you should never do that with any stock trust me 
it's best to avoid that kind of stuff. But for me personally speaking, I thought that uh, this was pretty achievable and it was. Don't get me wrong, holding Lunar stock, in my opinion, actually in my personal opinion, is a good idea. I think the stock will move up as we get closer to the launch date. And I think the, I think the mission is going to do well. I think it will. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it will. And and this is a stock that last year, guys, went over 100 bucks. I think, it went, I think it hit 140. I don't expect that to happen again. I don't because for the simple reason that usually those kind of explosions always happen when we have no idea about it. And then when retail um, believes that it can be done and everybody jumps in, that's usually when it doesn't happen. But anyways, still, I think the, the stock can, if the mission is successful, the stock can move up sizably a lot more than the $2.50 that it is right now. I think it can hit eight bucks. I think it, it can hit 10 bucks. Um, it's a low floater and it's gonna gain a lot of traction. People are gonna remember what it did last year and so on. That's just my opinion. Intuitive Machines uh, designs, manufactures, and operates space products and services in the United States. Its space systems and space infrastructure enable scientific and human exploration and utilization of lunar resources to support sustainable human presence on the moon. The company offers their M Nova, a lunar rocket fueled drone, a lunar surface rover, a fixed lunar service, and all kinds of other things. So Intuitive Machines, guys, is planning to send its Nova C lander to the moon and the thing is, they're gonna send it with SpaceX, right? So SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is who is what's gonna be used to propel the spacecraft to space. So as far as the launch is, it, it, you know, once the launch does occur, I believe that it will be successful because SpaceX is very uh, successful at launching, and you know, obviously they've been, they're proven legit and all that stuff. So I think it's gonna be fine. It's after that once it gets separated from Falcon 9 rocket. Um, and obviously till it hits the, uh, lands on the moon. So we'll see. And so this is the aircraft, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the spacecraft they're gonna send. So it's called the IM-1 Nova C. Intuitive Machines uh, mission launch date, like I said, it's gonna be in coordination with SpaceX. Last year in 2023, April 18th, 2023, they, were on the news for a $719 million NASA award. They did not get all $719 million, guys. But uh, it, well, here's the thing, though. They can get a sizable amount of that. It's uh, basically the deal is the single award contract has a five-year base performance period and a maximum uh, ordering value of $719 million. I believe the stock can move up as we get closer to the day that it launches. When it launches, it will be with SpaceX, so it should be fine. If it lands on the moon, stock will go higher. If it lands on the moon, then it starts to kick in awards, um, um, uh, performances, um, some of that money from NASA, maybe even orders that we don't know about. So I think it can, you know, it'll accumulate. It'll be, you know, pretty cool. I think the stock will ha has a lot of chance to go a lot higher. If there's any public offerings along the way, I don't know. You know. So that's not something I can tell right now. But it is a risk to consider, guys. So if we look at the revenue, which really doesn't really matter, to be honest, right now, because if the mission doesn't go well, then, you know, it doesn't really matter that the revenue went from 44 to 85 million. Then income was negative 6.41 in 2022. Guys, I made this video to bring to your attention Intuitive Machines as a stock that might possibly be a... Um, trade a swing trade maybe for you as a uh, as an option i'm not saying that you should do that you have to do your own due diligence right do not ever trade according to my videos don't because i'm not perfect all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video and uh i wish you guys all the best take care